Democratic institutions today look much as they have done for decades, if not centuries, with the world's oldest parliaments remaining indifferent to the possibilities of technology. At the same time, almost every other sphere of life – work, leisure, commerce and our social relations – has been transformed by digital technology and online services. We live our lives one way, while politics seems to function in a different universe. Political systems seem remote from our lives. They seldom seem to respond to us or belong to us. Politics is messy. The business of government is complicated. But it could and should be improved. Just as we strive to perfect most systems that hold such sway over our lives. It's time for an upgrade. The coronavirus pandemic has exposed the failings of neoliberal states. Economic, health and racial injustice is now so apparent it is beyond ideological argument. The current system of representative democracy in the UK has failed. Party politics and a compliant media ensures the control of ruling elites. No matter who you vote for, nothing ever changes. But change is possible. There is an alternative. Not another failed ideology from the past, but a bold vision of the future. One that recognises how we live our lives and meets our needs at the speed of fibre-optic broadband. Its name is Direct Democracy. It is an egalitarian method powering a worldwide movement towards true autonomy. Direct democracy is not purely theoretical. A form of direct democracy has been the system of government in Switzerland for many decades. Where citizens can exercise their democratic rights regularly, not just at general elections. In the UK, direct democracy can exist above the fray of the bitter ideological divides of the preceding centuries. As technological innovations and social movements continue to advance the prosperity of ordinary citizens, direct democracy will step up to lead a peaceful movement towards self-rule in the United Kingdom. Direct Democracy UK is a technology project as much as it is a decentralised, post-ideological movement. It will provide voters with technology that will maximise enfranchisement and allow them to register their democratic choices quickly and easily. Our project's central aim, now that we have the technology to do so, is simply to replace MPs with the true will of the people, their truth, their wishes, their democratic freedom of choice.